What's up guys, it's been Real Beats, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a polka style melody, and then we're going to go ahead and make a beat out of it. So we're just going to hop right into it, um, because there's some tips I want to give y'all to kind of get this right. Uh, so first, what you want to do is just make the melody in the BPM that you want to make your beat in. So I just automatically did 155, um, and then also um, I'm using this VST. Now I had to buy this, but luckily it was free because with Plugin Boutique, you like build up points. I could show a screenshot or whatever, but you can get it for free if you use Plugin Boutique and you've built up points because it's pretty cheap. But I had to go ahead and buy this because he's an essential instrument to this style. All right. So uh, we need a major. OK, we need a major uh, scale. So we're just going to grab in one here and real quick just so you can kind of see what's going on. Boom. Now it's going to make this real easy. So let's go in here. Make this large. Now, what you don't want to necessarily do, you can do, but you don't, if you want the actual style, you don't want to start your melody on these um, half steps here. You do not want to start it here, okay? You want to start it everywhere else but these notes. Right now, if you want to make something dark later, you can go around these notes. So like we can use E, um, but typically this is how the rhythm will go. It'll go something like this and then you'll, I don't know, do something like this. Like this is typically how every melody will look for this, okay? But of course we're gonna make something that sounds pretty decent, so um, let's... And then you wanna kinda go down. Um, we're gonna utilize the third grid as well, so maybe something like this and then you're going to kind of utilize the release as well all right so like right here what i would do is i'm gonna make this a little darker go to thirds okay and just place this in the thirds and see how that sounds and you kind of want that rhythm oops i hate when fl does this it's the most annoying thing on the planet all right. So now this is the key here. This is the key. We're going to go back to we could do one half, I guess, or I guess we could have just stayed at one fourth. Um, the rhythm. So this time signature isn't four four isn't best fit for this. But since we want to make a beat out of it, uh, we're going to have to adjust. So what you would do, and I'm just doing this for example, is you would instead of copying your melody like this, so it's like a perfect loop you would offset it like this or wherever you want to put it um but of course we're going to make a new melody and i think the easiest way is we could just copy this like that All right so it's kind of like the arp tutorial i made um where like the rhythms let me let me pull this back and let's see and then we want to finish it off maybe going back down here and then you want to kind of play around with some of these notes so maybe we could use this note since this has been used a lot and then we can kind of wiggle back and forth like this. Maybe we can use that for like the end. Right, and it's that simple. And of course it's not perfect because we need to like mess with the velocity. And then we copy it over and then we can use that one note that we had. And we know it works because if we make a chord backwards, it falls in there, so it's perfect, so. Let's go ahead and play this. Oops. And I do want to adjust this, but I'm not going to tweak too much because uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to make a little bit of variation because with this style, you don't want it to just be one. You don't want it to be one dimensional. So let's go ahead and do our variation. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add variation. So I'm gonna make this real easy for you. So the only tip that I would give is just steal from what we already learned, we already know, right? So um, let me make sure this is not low. So what we're gonna do is pull this up an octave, copy this, drag it over, and put it on the next um, set of bars, and then pull it down an octave, right? So it's the same melody, we just pulled it down an octave. Um, now, what we're going to do is take these melodies that we have, these in-between melodies, and just you see this right here? 
we're literally just gonna copy this and that's the easiest way right you can think of some other patterns or rhythms but i found that's the easiest way to do it to kind of at least mimic the uh style oops and yeah we're just gonna do this and you could do this on anyone really i think that might be good to see and we could adjust the, the uh length and stuff but i think that's good because you want to give the illusion that it's kind of like a different melody but also want to speed it up a bit too and then we're just going to copy it over and then we're going to of course adjust this back down hopefully okay so let's play the whole thing real quick Okay, and then I'm gonna just copy this here and we just have a layered instrument. So this is the single version and then this is the uh, doubled. So layering these together, they'll have a stronger sound. Okay, so now we're gonna add some texture and try to trapify this and then add some effects. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the texture. So this is going to help us trapify everything. Now it won't work well with our melody because this is like super happy and of course we want to make some dark um, but that's where effects will come into play um, so the easiest way we can start this is to take from our harmony from our actual melody so the first thing i like to do is look at the top note or the highest note in our melody and the lowest um, and see if those work together so we have the b and f sharp which actually give us a b minor okay and you don't have to use those notes that's just a rule of thumb that i like to go by or you can make a chord out of this backwards and you can kind of use this, but this will give you a more like happy vibe. But of course we want the trap beat. So we're gonna go with the B minor. And that's just a quick way you can go. It doesn't work 100%, but um, it's just something to, at least something to help you so that you're not sitting there trying stuff for hours. And then we're just gonna steal a little quick melody here. Very simple trap rhythm it, that you could use. And then we're just gonna copy it over and then take the notes from here. So just making our full chord, just pulling them over. Maybe just make it simpler than that, like that, boom. All right. All right, so now what we're gonna do is add some effects and try to blend these together. So I'm, I don't know how long it's gonna take me cause I need to find some presets and stuff, but when I do, We'll come back and I'll kind of show you why and um, what I added. All right, so for the effects, I actually did at least more than usual. Uh, so we went ahead and rendered the sample out and then we put it in its own bus and added some effects as well. So we'll start from zero. Um, so here is the bare bones melody. And then what I did is I added a shaper box and this is a custom preset that I've already had built. Um, so it's just a halftime, a simple halftime. And then this filter, so you can copy this filter, it's fairly simple. And what this does is add, it adds bounce to any melody that you have. So um, this is what it sounds like now. Right, so now it sounds more like a trap melody. So um, that's pretty good. So uh, for the trap texture, um, here I just added the trifecta, same little preset I use for like texture. Um, and it just, this is what it sounds like now. Oops. All right, very dark. Um, of course you can see obvious stuff like the EQs. Uh, so from here, um, obviously this together, I, I, thought it was, it, I thought it was clashing a little bit too much. So I'll play it. Right, a lot better, but it still was clashing. So I rendered it out into like a sample and I put it in his own bus, I'll mute these. Um, and of course it sounds the same, but when I turn these on, the first thing I added here was the thermal um, and I did a melody flanger. Now what this did was kind of add a overall character or tone to it, uh, which made it sound more melody-like. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll just play off, on. You can see it sounds more melody like it has like a synth vibe to it um so i thought that brought it together and then i just found these little presets so divine half comp is a really good preset um now it's edited because i took out some of the drive 
um, and if you go and stutter and repeat they are within here okay so i just um, chose these two which i thought sounded really good so i'm gonna play each one by itself and then this one I thought those sounded good. So now we're going to go ahead and make the beat finally. All right, so now we're going to finally start the beat. Uh, so with this, I'm going to mute these and we're just going to take that same harmony. So that B minor, we're going to take that and literally put it on an 808 because we did take a long time with the melody, but you know, I mean, that's normal. So take this, pull this down. And I'm just using cheats at this point because we want to get this done quick and we can just do something like this. I kind of like it high. We'll probably do some processing later to fix that. Um, and then for this, we can just do bar. And I think that's good. Let's see. I'll play it twice. I think that sounds good. All right, so let's go ahead and add the drums. All right, so now we're gonna do the drums. I'm gonna try to keep this fairly quick. Um, now I'm gonna just bar every single one of these so it's faster um, and I'm gonna just play the 808 so we can just have this to work with so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this just the simple stuff uh, let's do it. I'm just trying to find a decent rhythm. I kind of want to match these. I'm going to just pull that up so they match. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for velocity. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. Um, what do we have? A shaker. Let's see. What can we do with this shaker? Let's let's kind of add like a shaker like melody. So let's do like a. And of course, we need to mess with the velocity for this. So maybe like something like this. And so go up and then down. I think that's pretty smooth. And then we can just add, I don't know. Uh, I think that's good. I don't want to overdo it. Kind of went with an odd rhythm here. Well, let's see what this sounds like all together. So um, here's a sample. There we go. And I'll just mess around with some of this. I might add some mastering too, but if I do, I'll show it. But I like that. So what I probably would do um, to get the bass to be lower, I'll probably like transpose everything down. But I'm gonna add some mastering real quick, and then I'll I'll show you the mastering just so you, you can see it. But uh, yeah, I'll do the mastering real quick for the outro. So let's go ahead and do that. 
All right, so I went ahead and made those little quick changes. So I just put everything out in the playlist and this is just for the outro beat of the video. Um, and then here on my master, I have harmonics analog saturator. Okay, and this is just for the low end. Okay, to fatten that up. And then we have this Mutronics Mutator. And this is kind of like a filter, kind of like gate. It's, it's, it's a very weird plugin, but. Um, okay. Um, and then we have just a passive EQ. Very simple, simple EQ, but I like it. Just kind of boost things a bit. And then for this, now this is mainly for the bass. This one here is for the bass. And then this one here is for my high end. So basically I put a large reverb and you can see like the bass is like super fat when I pull this up. And then when I pull it down, you'll see the bass, like what it does to the bass. You see it has that air in it now. So pretty much I just pulled that down a lot. Just so it has a little bit of that in there. And then for the high end, this is what I have. Just to kind of boost the highs, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, but that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.